Okay, so let's try another approach. And this tied together too when I was in high school because like I said, I knew I was going to be a music major so I needed to learn some more of the uh, instruments. So I started looking at the low winds and playing it and I started to realize, and maybe some of you have, who've played trombone or baritone or even the tuba, that uh, when you played it on a, these instruments, man, the upper register was a lot easier. <laughs> may not be pretty, but man, that's a high B flat on trombone, equivalent to our high C. And that was really easy. Why was it easy? Well, less compression, and I could bring up the compression to where I was used to from playing the trumpet. And I also noticed what my lips were doing inside. <laughs> I feel my lips coming together, rolling in. And of course my tongue helping with, with the action as well. So I started to think, what if I played the trombone like I was, you know, playing a reed instrument with the roll in and the tongue, like I had a reed in my mouth. Like, oh, okay. Not clean, but man, that was really easy. So I started to realize, what the, what's the tongue doing? What's the mouth doing? And this is an exp exploration you have to do because no matter who you take lessons off of, and, I, and I'll go back to what I said before, teachers have a hard time teaching what comes natural to them. If their tongue placement comes natural to them, it's hard to describe. If, if the embouchure comes natural to them, it's hard to describe. I think get the idea. So you have to find, you know, some different ways with it. Uh, even just playing the mouthpiece, you can feel because, you know, it's already on the outside of your lips. So it frees everything in here. <laughs> to what you're doing and even articulation. You know, uh, how much compression do you need? So then when you come back to the trumpet, and this is going to feel weird for me because this is a lot smaller and I, I used to be able to go back and forth between them but I haven't done that in years. But I had the same idea. I'm like, yeah, see my lips are naturally going to that roll in, you know. Sometimes I'll do that. I'll play the bigger instrument for a moment and boom, there it is. And I got that roll in and it feels good. And you might also notice too that your sound is a lot more relaxed and open. So that's another way of finding it. But again, if you're going to go in the upper register, get comfortable. And I just squeak notes, you know, to find where it's going to be comfortable. There you go. So you want to get comfortable with it. Uh, so you, you know, because music is about expressing and having fun. And it, it shouldn't be work. You know, the upper register of the trumpet is just different colors to use, like the, uh, the expression I've heard many times. You know, uh, the, the more register you have and range you have, the more colors you can use in your music. Uh, so don't be afraid of it. Uh, take your time with it. Now, another way I found, which I've talked about a little bit, is using the lead pipe here to find your set. Because you roll in because the outer edges can be kind of, you know, they can cut a little bit. You want to protect your lips. And you won't use a lot of pressure on this one because it will tell you it's wrong. <laughs> it, it, it hurts. But you want to roll in to protect the lips and let it vibrate. And then when you put your mouthpiece back in, your mouthpiece is going to feel huge. Sometimes that alone will get you past your break so you can find where you need to set. Um, again, once you have a set, then you just relax for everything else. That used to be very difficult for me in high school because, 
again, G was my, my cap right there, and I had to use pressure for everything else. So those intervals right there, D, E, F, E, you know, and then go up to the A, the next passage of that one. See, I ever shot it because <laughs> I set too high. <laughs> so it, it, but it was easy. So the A, I was saying, is the A was really hard for me, and I get tired playing something like the Haydn. 